Vince is a little different. <laughs> Security is like so inconvenient. That's why MasterCard is introducing selfie pay. I'm not joking. Selfie pay in the UK uh, is not April Fool's. The MasterCard identity check actually maps the user's face for verification. It's the same system that they use to match fingerprints for uh, payment verification. So fingerprint, selfie. Um, you install the app, you snap a selfie that's analyzed and produces a digital map of the face, and then you use your face to pay. The trick here being that you can't use a photo because it requires you to blink to prove that you're real. What I wonder is then, well, can you use a video? I mean, that's pretty easy too, right? Becky's taking and a Becky, selfie Becky, are you right selfie now. paying right now? <laughs> I am, guys. I needed new mascara. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you know. Sorry. You can't, your selfie actually isn't worth money. It's just like your fingerprint. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. It's just like uh -huh. the secure enclave, if you will. <laughs> you said you were going to say secure enclave. No, you no, said no, no. you were going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what to think about selfie pay. It's, I think I'm broken yeah, at it's, this point. It's it's UI that people understand I being so. applied to a concept uh, that they don't. I mean, yeah. if you had to explain a security feature to someone who's buying something, would you rather explain take a selfie of yourself or tokenization? Yeah, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> right. Fair That's enough. As point. long as the, I mean, all I can really compare it to is way back when, I think it was Ice Cream Sandwich for Android, we got Face Unlock. And it was the, you know, it, it was ridiculed to no end and probably... Probably rightfully so, because it was very easy to spoof it. It was very easy to hold up a picture and get inside a phone. Uh, of course, Google did, you know, kind of say this is kind of a, like a thing we're testing around, you know, mm -hmm. playing around with, testing to see. And there, there's a little bit of that implementation in modern day Android. And it's, it's a little bit different. But um, I, I don't know. I just wonder how secure it is and tying it to a payment method just seems seems like a bad idea to me but well i think face recognition is getting a lot better yeah. next they're going to use electrocardiograms like apparently those are unique i had no mm. idea like i thought your heart beat and yeah interesting <laughs> i guess all our hearts beat to our own drummers yeah <laughs> i feel i actually feel bad for the credit card companies in this instance because if you think about the chip rollout 17 percent of people of, of merchants who have the chip readers are using them mm -hmm. oh so it's bad it's I see it every horrendous. day. They have them there. I'm like, do I use chip? You know, and then it's then it's confusion on the consumer side because yeah. it's like, okay, well, what do you want me to use? Oh, we have chip. Okay, and then of course it it has that loud like <laughs> beep at you, which like feels like shame every time you buy something <laughs> using chip. And then you go to another place that has the chip, but no, don't use that. No, it's just the swipe. It's confusing out there. So mm -hmm. I guess maybe if the adoption rate for that is so difficult yeah. uh, to make ubiquitous and so fractured, then maybe we do need to start with something. I'm not advocating for selfie pay per se, <laughs> but. You're saying the solution is selfie pay, aren't you? <laughs> This, and this, there we have it. I feel like Bill Gates. That's how Bill Gates got misquoted. I understand. I know, right? 